Ladies and gentlemen, check out this exercise. We need to find the shaded area that is the area of this square. Let's do it. Here we have a right triangle with sides 3, 4, and 5. The first thing we'll do is label the sides of the square. Let's say this is x, x, and x. Well, uh, all its sides have to be equal. Now let's label the angles. Here we have 90 degrees. Let's call this angle alpha and this angle here beta. Perfect. Here we have 90 degrees. And if this is 90 and this is alpha, then this has to be beta. Here we have 90 degrees. If this is 90 and this is beta, then this must be alpha. Fascinating. Now what we are going to do is move these triangles over here. Look, a blue triangle is appearing here. This side will be X. And we will also label this side from here to here. It will be Y. A red triangle will appear here. This side will be X. And this side here will be called Z. So, by moving these triangles over here, they appear like this. We have 90. Here we have alpha and here beta. We have 90. Alpha and beta. Very good. And we have 90. Alpha and beta. This black triangle that we have here is the large triangle. So this is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. Very well. Now look at the blue triangle. This side here will be this side here. It's Y. This side here is X, which goes here. This red triangle, the base would be C, which would be this part here. And this here is this here, which is X. Notice that they are similar triangles because they have the same angles. We can make a direct relationship between their sides. Let's do it. We can say here that y is to x. Notice y is to x as 3 is to 4. Let's write it down here. Here, fantasy tab. Very well. And now let's compare this. Let's relate this red triangle with the black triangle. x is to z. Very well. As 3 is to 4. Excellent. And what are we going to do? We are going to solve for y. Check this out. Here, we will solve for y. And we have that. It equals 3 over 4. And what happens with this x? Well, it comes here to multiply. And here we are going to solve for z. To do this, we will invert these fractions. So we would have a z over x equals 4 over 3. And we move the x to the other side to multiply, obtaining that z is equal 4 thirds of x. Fascinating. Here we have notice the values of x and z. What do we have here? Sorry. The value of y and z. We have the value of y, which is 3 fourths of x. And here we have the value of z, which is 4 thirds of x. Very well. And we can add all this from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. And then we would have 3 fourths of x plus a this here, which is x plus this here, which is 4 thirds of x. And this has to be equal to the side the hypotenuse of the large right triangle which is 5 very well so what do we have here as the least common multiple we have 12 how about we multiply everything by 12 yes then multiplying by 12 look let's do it quickly 12 divided by 4 gives us 3 times 3x gives us 9x 12 times x gives us 12x very good and 12 divided by 3 gives 4 times 4x gives 16x and this is going to be equal to 12 times 5 which is 60 of course now over here let's add 9 and 12 is 21 21 and 16 is 37 37x equal to 60 dividing by this 37 we find that x is equal to 60 over 37 notice that the shaded area is the area of a square Therefore, let's square both sides of the equation, resulting in the shaded area, ladies and gentlemen, that using the wheels of Hawking, 60 squared is 3,637 squared is 1,369 square units. Fascinating, right? Let's also leave an approximation here. Quinta, tem, dad, gesibte. This shaded area is approximately 2.63 square units. Spectacular! Let me know in the comments if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.